We're going to start today's devotional with a question. Why trust? Our scripture today comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. They read, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. The word trust in Hebrew is batak. It means to trust, be confident, or sure. Why is God giving us this instruction to trust in him? When you go and purchase an item and that item is in a box and requires assembly, the manufacturer of that item gives you a set of instructions. Should you choose to properly follow those instructions, then you will assemble that item and then it will function according to the original design of its creator. God is our creator. He knows every single hair on your head. He knows every single tear you have ever shed. So as our creator, he gives us a set of guidelines to help us live the life that will be filled with blessings and joy and peace according to his design. In our last devotional, we talked about the law that came through Moses. And that law was designed so that we could understand we need a savior. And you can read that in Galatians chapter three. Paul explains that for us. We're not trusting in the law for our salvation. Jesus took care of that. We are trusting in God's principles because he knows us. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. He's omnipresent. He knows all. He knows what's around the corner. You don't. He knows what's in tomorrow. You don't. But when we choose to trust in his principles, when we choose to rely upon his word, then we're saying, okay, Lord, I don't know, but I know you know. And I know that because you love me, you will lead me down a path that is for my good. Because we have finite understanding of things, then we can frame things based upon our experiences, based upon our ecology that may not align with the word of God. It could also be based upon our heritage. It could be based upon our history. Those things do not align with the word of God. So what God is telling us is that when we trust we are sure and put confident in his design, in the word that he gave us, in the principles that he outlines for us, be it in our eating, be it in how we handle our money, in our marriages, in our parenting, in our relationships, in our workplace. When we choose to trust in God's design and plan, then he will lead us to that path of abundance. He will lead us to that path of provision. He will lead us to that path of peace, to that path of joy, to that path of greater relationships. But we have to de decide we're not going to trust on what we can see or what we think we know, but rather we're going to trust in what God has told us. In her devotional, Jesus Calling, Sarah Young wrote, strive to trust Jesus more and more in areas of your life. Trust is like a staff you can lean on. As you journey uphill with Jesus, if you are trusting in Jesus consistently, the staff will bear as much of your weight as needed. Don't waste energy regretting the things that are or thinking about what might have been. Start at the present moment accepting things exactly as they are and search for Jesus' ways in the midst of those circumstances. So rather than us thinking we know best or we can try to figure it out, Let's go to the word of God and trust what the word of God says. Find that one scripture, meditate on that scripture, put your trust in that scripture and know that Jesus will reveal to you the plan that he has for your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for teaching us today the importance of trusting you, the importance of relying upon your word, the importance of leaning upon you as our staff. You are our shepherd and you guide us through all of the valleys all of the mountaintops, all of our experiences, you are there to guide us. You are there to lead us, to champion us on, and to help us be lights for Jesus in this world. Father, for everyone listening, I pray the Ephesians prayer that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened and we will know the hope to which you have called us and the riches of the glory of our inheritance in the saints. Thank you so much for grace and mercy and blessing us with the strength to trust you in all of our ways and you will direct our path in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for our devotional today here at Sun Valley. Choose to trust Jesus.